Well, as most of us know, moms really run the household. Let's pat ourselves on the back here. And a big part of keeping the family budget balanced is to look for ways to save money. So we've got some wise advice coming our way on this subject this morning from Emily Girolamo. She is vice president of marketing at Cool Savings. Hey, Emily, good morning to you. Good morning. I'd love to save. Many of us, especially in these economic times, but we feel like we've already stretched our budget and our finance is so thin that we can't stretch anymore. And I'm sure this is something that you hear all the time. Yes, well, time is money. Yeah. So we need something easy and convenient. Um, making little shopping changes in your shopping habits, like researching coupons online or comparing prices before you shop on those big ticket mm -hmm. items can and do ease the strain on your wallet. And you know, one of the other things that a lot of my girlfriends love to do is couponing. But for me, I'm thinking the Sunday paper, they gotta look through the paper, you gotta clip it with the coupons, you have to file it away. It seems like a lot yeah. of work. And you mentioned time, you know, is yes. money, and a lot of us just don't have the time. Yes. So there's still a lot of great savings to be had in the flyers, uh, but if you want a more easy and convenient way to do this, mm -hmm. go online. So at CoolSavings.com, which is, actually a lot of people know us as the pig with sunglasses. Uh, right, 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 right. Um, you can go on, browse through coupons, mm -hmm. click them, and then print them, or you can also browse through them, click on them, and save them to your shopper card. This is what I do. I, I, I save them to my rewards card. Right there from, from, the computer. from the computer. I go in, I use it at the grocery store, mm -hmm. and by doing this, I actually went from saving $6 a week to $32 a week. Not. Yes, I did. Are you serious? Yes. Listen to me. I'm like, I'm like getting leaving <laughs> in now. I'm absolutely convinced because all of us do want to save money, not just on groceries. So let's say that there's something that we want to buy and we want to save on other than groceries. Are there some features on Cool Savings that allow us to do that as well? Yes. So one of of my favorite offers on Cool Savings is called the Cool Deal. It's mm -hmm. a national deal, and these are usually 50% uh, or more, mm -hmm. so this is a big discount value. I use these for researching new ways to entertain my family. Um, I've gone on a Segway tour with my husband, oh. which was lots of fun. It was something that we talked about with weeks to come, and then also I've used it before for uh, toddler classes, cooking classes. Oh. And again, it's just a nice, fun way to enjoy life, but not, uh, still on a budget, and it's not going to break the bank. Right, and I think that's what everybody these days is looking yes. for. But I think the other thing is some people may be looking at this and say sites like Cool Savings, yeah, they sound great, but what's the catch? Right. There is no catch. Uh, using the site is free. If you want tailored savings to around your area, you use your zip code. Yeah. And if you want tailored savings to categories that you like, pets, uh, grocery, kids and babies, Mm -hmm. health and beauty, travel, whatever you want, then you go in and you tailor it. There's also a cool savings community. This is a great way to just talk to other people who want to share savings tips or recipes or whatever else, or creative idea, gift nice. ideas yeah, like yeah, for yeah. Father's Day or Valentine's Day. Easy to do at home things that aren't going to break the bank, but are easy and convenient because again, time is money. Absolutely. And I think the fact that almost everybody is on a computer these days, they're yeah. already on it anyway. So at the end of the day, then what do you want people to know? about cool savings. Couponing is not just for those tied on a budget. Mm. It's really being smart about your money. There's three tips that I would walk away with. One, always do your research on coupons before you go to the grocery store. And by research, I don't mean that you have to spend hours on a computer. It's what am I gonna go buy this week? I'm gonna click on those coupons, save them to my grocery card, and boom, you save almost four times more at the grocery store four a week. Four times more, yes. wow. At least that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Number two, compare those prices on the big ticket items. Before I go on vacation and maybe I need a new digital camera, I go online, I comparison shop and say, okay, where can I save 20% off of this digital camera, and you can. Mm -hmm. um, and three, at the end of the day, there's fun things to do with your family that aren't going to break the bank. So if you make those little changes in your shopping habits, it can and will ease the strain on your wallet. I love that. So can I call you for that advice on $36 savings in case I forget? Sure. I do it? Okay. See, I've got a little inside there. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Good to meet you. You too. Thanks for having me. And if you want a little inside information yourself and you want to see what it's all about and sign up, simply go to the website. It is coolsavings.com.